I call you Savior because you died for my sins. Ten years ago, I crucified you on the cross. My heart promised that I'd never become another statistic, just another black baby mama. And so today, I wonder what my life would have been like had I spared yours. See, the death of a child, especially at the hands of his or her own mother, is harder to swallow than birth control pills. Still, the only memories I have of you are morning sickness, excessive sleep, and a mental picture of you at 12 weeks, courtesy of an ultrasound which projected your arrival somewhere around early September. My birthday is September 10th. So I can't help but wonder if we would have spent each year blowing out two sets of candles, making two sets of wishes that may never come true like you. But I am no God. I do not possess the power to breathe life into the dust to dust that you may have become. And each time I think about the lump in my belly that never fully formed, the one in my throat does. And I am forced to swallow the shame of not being woman enough to do at 25 what my own mother was able to do at 15, and that's to be a mother. But I am no angel. My tattered wings got tangled somewhere in the sheets of a 40-year-old man who saw me as a solution to his midlife crisis. Your father was not someone I loved. He was just someone who knew me biblically. Someone who laid hands to cure my homesickness made me forget what it felt like to be miles away from home or miles away from a storm that baptized my possessions. See, baby Katrina left me so depressed that I undressed and gave this man the only thing I had left to sacrifice. This is my body, naked and broken. Take it as a token. Do this in remembrance of me until I come again. What should have been holy communion became a hole in the condom. What should have been wine and wafers became your flesh and blood in my belly. But I am no Virgin Mary. I was just a scary grad student waiting tables. Only wanted you to be born in a stable environment because there was no room in the inn. So when three wise friends came bearing lists of abortion clinics, I sacrificed my only begotten son or daughter to save a world of trouble. And each day I am troubled with thoughts about how maybe they pierced you in the side or left you out to dry in some biohazard bag in a toxic dump site. And the only way I knew how to fight for you was by wrestling back and forth with the idea of keeping you until it was almost too late to give you up. I would have kept you had I known that the doctors were gonna suction out my soul with your body. This temple has never felt so empty. Each month when I get my period, it feels like I'm experiencing the stigmata. I wish I could take your lifeless, bloody body and lay it at the altar and alter my decision. But for me, there is no such redemption because baby, your mother, she ain't no God and she ain't no mother either.